You already know what it is, man. You be the underboss, the apex. My partner, Hurricane Joe Easy, back in the building with Fuego Talk and a very, very, very special invited guest, a purveyor of the arts, uh, Allison of the Museum of Graffiti. I can't, I can't even, can't even <laughs> say anything else about it. She's just that, that dope, man. I am so honored to be here. Thank you for yes, having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It, it's really our pleasure and an honor to have you here because yes. I've had the, the the distinct honor of performing at the Museum of Graffiti when you guys did a couple years ago uh, something about the Cuban, when the, the, the Cuban oh, thing was going on. Oh, that was an amazing event. Yeah, with my brother Ross Andino, my brother Serum, DJ Heron. We, we did a performance out there. and We had a big I mural unveiling. Yes, yes It exactly. was amazing in an art yeah. auction. That's, Shout out to my awesome. brother Metaphor was out there as well. He's one of the artists. Yeah, For sure. You know, a lot of the guys, a lot of the, the graffiti artists, the legendary graffiti artists, are my homies like we all grew up together you know they're like my counterparts we all grew up like you know miami when we were kids in the 80s and stuff in the small know? miami so yeah so <laughs> i loved it when i was there and i was like fascinated by the place and i was like wow and then i saw you were the person behind it, and i was like wow so my partner tells me oh we're having Alice. allison he goes yeah from the museum of graffiti i was like wow i was blown away i was like oh that's so dope that's awesome yeah miami's a small world yes. um and you know actually since you were at that location we moved um, from the original location that was 3,000 square feet to a 5,000 square foot spot right next to the Windwood Walls. So kind of in the epicenter of everything just wow, to, nice. you know, it actually shows how much the people loved it and how much more they wanted to see and Dope. that the demand was there because we Dope. were really the first people in the world to ever kind of uh, set out to do this. Right. That's what I was going to say, because this is like the only spot that's like this. Yeah. In the whole world, right? Yeah, and it's right here in everybody's backyard in Miami. Yeah. It's beautiful. I didn't even know you guys had moved, though. I got to go check out the new the new location. Oh, my God. It's awesome. That's and and we also have an art gallery um, that's across the street. And that location that you visited us at, you know, a couple of years ago, that will become the art of hip-hop in Ooh, December. So nice. that will be exclusively dedicated to Amazing. hip-hop. Wow. Um, so we'll have the one location on graffiti, the other about the visual creators behind the genre so we're looking at the photographers the album cover artists the logo designers obviously the graffiti writers are in there too right uh i really want to highlight some of the fashion designers uh, right. we'll see if we can mm. get that done it's a bit ambitious to get it all up and running but by that's, december yeah, but that's beautiful though like like involving all of those elements as well that's very dope yeah it that's what really like the angle that we're taking and in, in celebrating hip-hop 50 is really checking out the visual side of things because i think that those people a lot of times get like forgotten and if they're not their name is like super tiny mm, on the bottom good. of an album mm -hmm. cover the fine so print yeah the <laughs> fine print on the inside of the three of the flaps book, uh, yes, you yes, know yes, like yes, yes. and nobody sees that and so it's it's our time to give them their flowers and uh, we're really excited about that and so a lot to see over there on this little block takeover we're, right. we're growing and so only dope. only thanks to the community man like yeah. it's it's only made possible by you know folks like you um and the artist yeah. community that supported us the, through this well, well, likewise me, it goes hand you, in hand thank you how, how long i've heard see with me i'm i'm a busy person so i haven't walked through the doors but like i said our brothers are associated Obviously, what was was taking place on your behalf? How long um, have you guys been up and running? What past 10, 15 years already? Or oh no, my no. God, has no! It? So we opened our doors to the public for the first time December two thousand nineteen. Oh, so just the other day. Yeah, oh, yeah three, four, this four. this year we'll yeah. be celebrating four years. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, okay. everybody knows what happened a couple months cold, after yeah, December yeah. two thousand nineteen, but we we were open at the end of that year. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This is like. This is like to to say the Museum of Graffiti yeah, for it's me. A temple. It's, it's a like temple. something big. It's like you know, because in yeah. our lifetime it was like remember like when we were kids, this was like illegal. This was like vandalism, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they would, you know, you could go to jail. Like you know what I mean? L.A., New York, like these places, they would they would take you to jail. Even here, like you know, my boys Crook and Chrome, those guys, you know, did jail time behind graffiti. You know, this what I mean? museum is long overdue. Absolutely. Um, you know, my partner Alan Kett has been in the game for forty years. You nice. know, doing this, documenting this, writing about it, recording people talking about it, photographing this for since he was twelve. A journey. Yes, um, a shout journey. out Kett. He's in the house tonight. Shout and, out to um, Kett, man. What's <laughs> up, brother? Okay. Um. So. Yes. 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 <laughs> Special guest. So, yeah, special guest. And, um, he yeah. likes to play the behind the scenes. Well, you know, this is really special. This is a podcast about female empowerment. And, you know, yeah. so many people 
come and chat with Ket. And so, you know, it was very cool of him to ride with me over here, you know, because I, I do, you know, a lot of times watch him do his book signings and stuff right. like mm-hmm. that. And so, you know, when you guys called me and, you know, to talk to me about my story, I was like, you sure you don't want me and Ket? So no, you're like, we, no, we this is about yeah, females. We will, he will have his yeah. time. No, yeah, definitely. definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll give him his light. We will yeah. shine the light on yeah. him. We don't have Absolutely. a problem right now. We're just bringing yeah. a female. No, we, to, he to appreciates the, it. Yeah. Yeah. We both appreciate it. Well, the Fuego it. talk yeah. is, is definitely based for the female empowerment, like you said. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've been kind of giving a, a spotlight to the women, but we also have the Homegrown Connection podcast. It's another platform that we we highlight guys like Kat. You know what I mean? Like like all all the you know all the local entrepreneurs. The Fuego, and the Fuego in the Booth series exactly. that we took off in January already. Ooh, yeah. We work with all the local artists, so that's yes. that's yes. that's how this started. So yeah. this is like the sister platform to the Fuego in the Booth series. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the Fuego in the Booth took off on us. Yeah, like it took it just off. Took off like. Yeah, it grew legs. It's so big. It's we worldwide. were like, well, we, we everybody was like, well, you guys got you guys got to do a podcast to go. So we, this is kind of like the sister podcast to go with it. Cool. Yeah. And we chose yeah. to focus on the women because my partner, he's, he's I have to give. Yeah, you know, um, he's he's and, he's an ultra feminist. Remember, <laughs> no, is that the the men get a lot of credit? Yes. So I'm saying, okay, let's reverse yeah. the roles here. Let's put the women up front. Yeah, I think it's that. incredible, <laughs> like the fact yeah. that it's two male co co hosts talking yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Uh, women and and respecting them and and genuinely wanting to hear about their story yes. it's it's really unique and I think you guys have a great niche and you're gonna crush thank you thank, thank, you. You. <laughs> thank you so much from your mouth to God's ears that's thank awesome you. so um I wanted to talk to you a little bit about like the history mm-hmm. of Allison and 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 graffiti yes. and hip hop in general because you being you know tell us like I said, a purveyor of the culture and and the arts and and stuff like that how did you get are you a hip-hop fanatic are you i am um but my story is a little bit different than everyone else is around me um i am third generation miami so my parents went to beach high my grandparents lived here may they rest in peace you know i am through and through miami beyond anything else and so i think that when a lot of people in celebrating 50 years of hip-hop really focus on you know images in their head of of rappers wearing timberlands and and jeans on the stoops in new york and it's cold outside and you're wearing a puffer jacket and a beanie like that isn't my hip-hop right so i think that i was into hip-hop from a very young age and and of course you know came up before mp3s and all that stuff and and had a big access to local radio so I think when I really understood hip hop, like I was super young listening to Power 96 and 99 Jams and ha- didn't have a lot much else to do other than yeah. listen to the radio, the radio. and, yeah. uh, you know, pop in my cassette tapes and record off the radio. And the natural progression of that was obviously seeing uh, car culture. I was I'm from Coconut Grove. And right. so, <laughs> you know, we all know what happened there in the 90s with the car culture yes. and I got into that. I wanted to trick out my car. My parents were like, what is going on? (laughs) You know, like, like what's Grove is the second home. And then first home was South Beach. Yeah. You know, for the people they can understand. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. of course. Um, And so I think car culture paid a big part in it. And, you know, once you're old enough and you're getting 15, 16 and getting in the cars with other people, you're out and about and seeing the graffiti. And that's, um probably around that time was the crook and chrome era you know and so i turned 16 i would say so i'm trying to do some quick math uh uh in 2001 wow um so that i was born in 85 and so if i i think I turned 16 in 2001. 2001. And so that was like kind of a a crook and chrome had already destroyed the entire city. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. By By that that time, time, like, and so that was completely fascinating to me. You couldn't go anywhere. And, you know, that's really sparked my interest. There was a lot of graffiti in the Grove. So in my neighborhood, you know, it's not like I came from like, you know, Weston or Boca Raton or something like that. Like I was, I was in the thick of it. Right. Um, you yeah, know, because the Grove was like one of those hoods where it's like it you know Miami's pretty much like that, but it was like one of those where like literally you could the just cross the street stopped. and you know what I mean. Right there is like you're in the thick of it. Uh, yeah, I lived downtown Coconut Grove right, basically yeah. my whole life, yeah. and so I was. But you know, I uh, 
you know, there's no secret. Like I'm a white girl and I was really into hip hop. <laughs> and like, how did that go over well with my parents and my community? It was it was strange. Right, right, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I always felt like a little bit of an outlier and an oddball. Um, yeah. I think the easiest thing for me to become in love with was outsider art and, and urban art and gra- graffiti and, you know, kind of just I had no talent visually or as an artist. So I, I but I just wanted to be around it, you know, like mm-hmm. I didn't want to pick up a can. I didn't want I didn't have that urge or that knack to go tag everything, you know, but I. But you had the eye, though. You I had, had that the appreciation. Eye. I had that the appreciation eye. in and of itself is 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 I always say that. That's the connection that we share with, like, the people who love what we do. You know what I'm saying? And so that I is what translates into my work today. Right. In yes. terms of, I see it. In I see terms it. of putting paintings in certain spaces and choosing what graffiti I want to show and mm-hmm. and and all of that, you know, and, and, and really the aesthetics and, and looking at what fits with what and what story you want to tell and figuring out what's the most interesting story ket knows every story graffiti story under the sun and you know so we'll spit back and forth and i'm like you know it's striking a balance also not only in the visual but um kind of what's interesting both to like the graffiti nerd and the family that comes in from south dakota off the street and like wants to learn graffiti for the first time and so we're constantly like doing this juggling act right and so I think that my eye on the street and like relying on what I found interesting back then and what I found interesting like over the years as I evolved and matured and got older, like I think helps play a role from an out from an outsider's perspective because right. mm. uh, Ket is very much an insider in the game. Absolutely. So I kind of provide that balance. Ket's and like an OG, right? He's very much an OG. And let me tell you something. It's hard for me to work to maintain my outsider perspective because i do this every single day right i'm with writers all day every day i'm talking hip-hop all day every day well i wouldn't call you an outsider anymore kid right (laughs) right but you know you you, you got the past but you have to take that vision when you're putting on an exhibition you have a responsibility to make sure that it's it's for everybody it's not just for the insiders but it's so that people in the community can come and learn and understand and get something really valuable about it it. that's so dope that see that perspective is very dope because i remember when we were younger and you know maybe it's Maybe it's the maturity, you know what I'm saying? Because when we were younger, we were kind of like snobs about it. Like, yo, nah, they, uh, we don't even want them here. They, you know what I mean? If they ain't down with us, then we, you know what I mean? Yeah. and there's They shouldn't a, be around. And that's there's there's no way you're going to grow like that, buddy. And <laughs> you know no, there's also a lot of purists out there who don't yeah. think, you know, nothing with a mural or a character in it is graffiti. If it's not illegal, it's not graffiti. You know, right, like, right. It, it's it, and you know, these are the discussions that needed to be had. These right. are educational discussions that why that's the reason why we have the museum so we can come and talk about it and like gain more knowledge for everybody i love it i love what you guys are doing it's okay it's funny it's okay to have an opinion right but not a disagreement yeah yeah no no you can even disagree like it's it's as long as you know you're okay but disagree we can agree to disagree yeah uh, of course and and that's really important but i love what you guys are doing because I, i i know that you guys are doing like outreach like with the kids and everything right uh, you know, a subtle plug that every Sunday you can come to the museum free for children, have a graffiti artist teach kids. We have a graffiti artists teach kids um, lettering, shadows, drop shadows, characters, all of that. Like I love the, that. And the graffiti Workshop. artists take their time. It. Uh, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. at the museum. You Beautiful. get every week. It's like clockwork. Um, and they can and sign up online, right? Or sign up online. Hit the website museumofgraffiti.com. Bam! So dope. I, I love that you guys are doing that for the kids. And I know there's like other. You guys have other things there's going on, right? Ton other of programs for the programs. community. You know, there's mm-hmm. a ton of stuff that we really work so hard to do. It's it's not easy. So. Over the summer, for the first time, we ran the Modelo Summer Culture Series. And so what we did, we got a little beer sponsor to make it pop. 
Nice. And you could come through the first Friday of the month, the entire summer, when like everybody doesn't want to be outside. Nobody, right. you know, right. you're hiding because it's ninety <laughs> fucking degrees out. Am I allowed <laughs> to say? Fuck yeah, it's confusing. Okay, okay. Yeah, the, the, uh, you know, the heat it's, is confusing. Yeah, yeah it, it, it'll it'll make you delusional. No, Miami it's, heat is just something confusing. else. Okay, so every day of the <laughs> summer, we get, we gave out cold beers uh, for the first Friday of the month, and every single month we put on a new super super fire cultural programming the first month we opened a new show of african-american graffiti only wow. so a survey of just african-american graffiti artists we also did a oh, no, we did so the dope. next one we did a um an event where we brought in tattoo artists from the community who got their start in graffiti wow. and made that transition and chose wow. ultimately chose tattooing as their career path Wow. This one you guys mm-hmm. are going to love, which is that we brought in DJ Laz to talk about yeah, his story. I saw, and DJ Laz. I saw that as well. I we unveiled you. a huge mural really? in his yeah. honor because, yeah. I, you know, we, we got to celebrate I, our own I local a, heroes. I, I'm sorry. Can yes. I do a pause for Laz? Because yes, we know man. who Salute Laz is. Salute to DJ Laz. That's my brother, we man. We know his work in Miami. Yeah. So I got here yeah. at 17. Let me tell you, Laz was already on the radio station playing for Power 96. Oh, yeah, you no, get yeah, me? So I, I definitely got to applaud my Laz was my doing brother. that since before Allison was born. Put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah. That's my brother from another, man. Salute to Laz. So, he put me on his Category 6 album. Y'all could go and stream that on all digital streaming yeah. platforms. Yeah, I'm he's on a good a, guy. He's a good guy yeah, of the city, yeah. I got to say. We yeah, love you, You know, just to, to let you guys know, uh, I, I met him at, I, I, I have a... Back in the day, I was on Lucy Lopez's show in the afternoons, like in college for a very quick stint. I always wanted to cross paths with him, but he was up in the morning and right. she was in the afternoon. And right. so I like spent so long being like, when am I going to get to meet Laz? You know, like right. I eventually I met him through something or other and then recently reconnected with him when he was at iHeart uh, for a hot second. And we, we changed numbers. And literally when I called him because, you know, we were going to surprise him with this. Yeah. And. I was like, this is such a good idea. We we have to like you let know, him know, pay, pay yeah, tribute yeah. and like t- get him over here. Great idea. You know, yeah. he he wasn't like he was so down to earth, so giving with his time, so kind, so responsible. Showed up on time, no drama, no entourage. Ever just the like, profession work. Like He's always been doing that. Unbelievable. Yes. Like I, I, I was him. I was blown away, and and you know, he gives so much to the community. And uh, so we have to, we as an organization that works uh, as graffiti is one of the elements of hip hop, you know, we have a duty as the neighbor to the other elements yeah. to support these people, to show love um, and, and, and all Bu- of that. Build so. the bridge. Build the that. bridge is the most important factor. Yes. Here. The yeah. bridge building, that's what makes the relationships. Right. And so bottom line, we got to do all that dope programming um, in much thanks to Modelo and their support. And, you know, people. Shout ma- out Modelo. Shout out Modelo. <laughs> it makes things a lot easier mm-hmm. when people have cold beers yeah. to, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm makes our programming much more interesting when you have uh, five, yeah, <laughs> three yeah, beers yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely i mean that's that's a beautiful thing that's what i love about what you guys are doing in the community i love a lot to the yeah. city yeah i love a it lot. i love it i hear the name everywhere that's why yeah. like through our oh, friends yeah. so i'm like yeah you know we got oh, they're killing the bridge it. absolutely killing it so um where are you guys going with this i know you said something about the 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 hip-hop yeah. yeah so we um experimented starting in march uh we headed to south by southwest in austin texas nice mm. and we opened up a new concept separate from the museum of graffiti called the art of hip-hop mm. and the art of hip-hop is exactly kind of what i explained earlier tonight which is taking a look at hip-hop from the perspective of the visual creators you know those mm, folks right. who created the album covers and did the photo shoots and, and and were the designers and made the logos we crushed austin it was such a wonderful time we we it was just a pop-up though and um we met some really interesting folks from korea Mm. while we were down in austin because south by southwest is this huge festival tech bros galore Mm. filmmakers galore you know a lot of people doing really cool shit are down into austin be out there next year yeah Yeah. oh definitely call me i want to go um (laughs) so so yeah, so we met a great a group of people from Korea, and they b- then insisted that we take the pop up to Seoul. Wow. So Kat and wow. I spent uh, a little bit of our summer in Seoul uh, nice. with the art of hip hop pop up in Korea. So it was mm-hmm. it was wild, you know, and and we 
trust our team to run the Museum of Graffiti. It was open and kicking and rocking the whole time, our art gallery too. And um, so, you know, the dis- after the success, 50,000 people passed through there. And so after the success in Seoul, we're like, we got to bring it home. You know, Miami mm-hmm. deserves this. Right. Miami gets to see this. It sucks that, like, we're located here and that other people are getting to see this, but our true fans and friends and uh, the our community hasn't seen this yet. And so we have been working 21 hours a day making this happen in order to open during Art Basel. That's awesome. Wow. So we're, we're shooting for Art Basel? We are. We, yeah. awesome. we are. We'll because be there. Because the traffic will be bananas. We, yeah. yeah. No, but that's, that's it. That's when yeah. you got to do Art Basel. It. Yeah. We are was, located yeah. in the center of Wynwood. So yeah. now mm-hmm. combined with the three spaces, we'll have a total of 10,000 square, square feet, feet. Yeah. in downtown that's major. Wynwood. That's, that's major. Yeah. We got to give it, We got to yeah. give it up for the 10,000 square feet. Come on. <laughs> that's 10,000 square feet of hip hop, y'all. Come yeah. on. Four, uh, that's awesome. Four, four, that's hour, big. Four for everybody to understand, remember, this is what I tell everybody. If you do this, it's just for us. Absolutely. So don't feel left out. That's no, what no, t- this is for the community. Exactly, this is for the city of Miami. <laughs> remember 100%. We, yeah, you remember Wynwood before all this, I, right? I, I, I was <laughs> going to Wynwood yeah, we were out when there, it yeah. didn't exist. Yeah. I have pictures yeah. still when it was just yeah, a man. big car, car garage, everybody's car garage. <laughs> Our friends still have car garages there, so we know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out Juan at the body shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Juan and Adrian. <laughs> yeah, man. So there's a lot of good people over there, man. Aramis, all, all the homies over there, man. I love them, man. Nasty, everybody, my whole family over there. I mean, that's 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 like you know what I mean. That's the heart of Miami, really. You know it, what I mean? It's great, you know. Yeah. And and you know, when we opened our new location, we opened with a show on exclusively Boricua artists because right. Wynwood is a Puerto Rican Absolutely. community. Yes. It was a, called Little San Juan. Mm-hmm. And, you know... Shouts to Thurston, too. You have to give tribute. Yes, My brother yes. Thurston. Yes. Tribute. Yeah. Roberto yeah. Clemente Park, like yes. all, all, all of it. And, um, you know, and, and so when we opened the new museum, like it's so important for us to look back in time and make sure nobody's forgotten because yeah. what's happened today is that you got big businesses coming through there. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, you know, it's Warby park or it's foot locker. They're, they're all yeah. in play now. now. There's and, interest, right? Yeah. But nobody's <laughs> co- coming in and being like, Oh wow, this used to be a Puerto Rican neighborhood. That was really important. Target. And, you know, and don't <laughs> nobody, <about> <laughs> they don't you care. Know? exactly. But we do, yeah. we yeah. do. Mm-hmm. So we're, that's vi- what's special about you. Guys. We're really, really nostalgic. Yes. Uh, we're really loyal. And we're really authentic, like you know, and and we're not scared of anybody. Yeah. So that's what's up. I love it. I love it. That's the way you got to do it. You got to embrace. You know what I mean? Your community, man. That's what Working it is. Hard. You guys, you thank guys you. are doing a great, great thing. I'm telling you. Thank you. If a lot of people don't tell you thank you, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, thank you, thank yes, you so much. That, that's what means a lot. Sometimes remember yeah. the work goes overshadowed. So yeah. you need to tell you need to hear it sometimes. Oh man, yes. thank you for the thank work you, you put very in. Much. Oh, We're, thank you. If if the, I wasn't wearing these glasses, you guys would see my eyes tearing up. Oh come up. on. <laughs> the same way. Watch this. We're we're pioneers of what we do. So we've yeah. been doing this hip hop thing since '89. I was doing hip hop here since way I, before I, that. I, for I, me, I brought a couple of acts here before hip hop even existed. So I'm a staple in my compu- community, also just like he is. You know, right. just like DJ EFN, Epps, Heron, you know, a fly guy. Some of us like living legends, man. We, we <laughs> sorry, Hurricane let, me not get, let me not get carried Come away. Come on, don't but get carried you. away. But thank you. No, I no, thank that. you guys. It, it, it takes yeah. a village, you know, mm-hmm. like it's, it does. It's, I wanted to tie in real quick because um, you said Seoul. You were in Seoul, Korea, right? Yes. I, I remember the journey. Olympics were over there years ago, right? And now. I heard uh, breakdancing, b-boying will be added as the an Olympics. official Olympic sport. In Paris, 2024. Yes, wow. for Paris, 2024. This is something that my this brother Speedy Legs, shout out to Speedy Legs. Shout out to Speedy Legs you know, and the, the Pro-Am. Yes. And the, yes, exactly. That's uh, what I, I wanted to talk to you about that. Yeah, because I'm wondering, <laughs> is, there, is there? That's <laughs> what it is. It's yeah, USA uh, break uh, Yeah, well, that's what it is now, right? Yeah, that's, that's what, it what it's called, yeah. It's going to be the USA breaking team, right? Or b boying team? how many slots on the team? I'm not sure, but I wanted to ask Allison, is there... Any do, do you guys tie in any of the b-boy stuff? One hundred percent. Speedy is on our team. Okay, we're good. on his team. Ooh, okay, good. We're all family. That's my brother, uh, man. Whatever, you know he's from our hood. He's you know he's from high. You know Idea. I can tell you whatever whatever um, Speedy needs, he can come to us. Whatever we need, we go to Speedy. It's yeah. it's a family. Um, every for the past few years, we've put on uh, some version of 
the pro am or uh, you know USA Brigan championships. Right. Uh, you know we we work together. We try and provide him that space. Um, you know, so he can have a dope ass location to do his thing and continue his dream. Uh, that guy is is about the community He's more, a hero as more well. than anybody yeah. else. One thousand um, percent. It's actually interesting though when I we we opened in Austin, Texas. Uh, we went out there. They have B Boy City, so they mm. have they're doing something very similar. And ju- you know, I don't know who started it first. God forbid I get that wrong oh, and <laughs> say that on the ca- <laughs> on the mic. But there You'd is a guy crucified. named there is a guy named Rome down there who's also doing uh you know God's work in, work. in mm-hmm. terms of teaching the kids and you in know Austin. making in, in Austin. Austin. This in Austin. is in Austin. TX, yeah. So we kind of when we moved the art of, when we opened the art of hip hop in. Austin, we kind of were fortuitously found, you know, the speedy legs of Austin, nice. right. and beautiful. and it was super dope and and super beautiful to to see that this is hap- happens in other places. But you know, I don't know if anybody's put in work like he has. No, wow. I'm telling you, I I can vouch for Speedy. He's yes. he's probably one of work. the first ones that was actually doing that type of work, and actually and one of the first ones that was really real b boy. Like, like, open up his yeah. little class to, to yeah. with the kids. Like yeah. I wasn't part of it, but we yeah. here. Remember, we're yeah. in the community. We hear oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. We're connected. You and not only that, but he also had the pro am, like like Alice yeah. said, which mm-hmm. was like people from all over the world would fly mm-hmm. in. Oh and my god! Just to be part of yeah, that. That was huge. Yeah, I I mean I wish I was old enough back in those days you know like when i'm hanging mm -hmm. out with ket and speedy they're like you know i'm the youngest person in the room by by 15 years (laughs) so yeah yeah yeah. um and so i I know i've seen his face somewhere I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I had seen him. <laughs> uh, not a milk know, carton. We, we, know a lot of, <laughs> we know a lot of graffiti people as well. Yeah. So, like, yeah. could have been a long time so ago. That's the Ross Terms. You know Ross Terms? Yes, he just moved brother. back to Miami. It's my brother James. We grew up together as well. KV, I don't know if you know KV. Of course, yeah. but Terms. Those guys are my bros. Like, we grew up together. Terms right? just spent a lot of time in Washington, D.C. and and, and moved back. Um, we've had a solo show with him. We we actually this is a really cool little factoid so one of the fun fact fun fact the one of the big things i do for my job every single day is i run our strategic partnerships and so i make those decisions are we going to work with Modelo or are we going to work with whoever Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we got the opportunity to work with mattel you know mattel is just on the map right now because of barbie and everything that was Mm -hmm. popping off like crazy and so mattel said allison I we have this great idea. You're gonna curate the Museum of Graffiti is gonna curate an Uno deck. Pick eight artists that you oh, want to work that. with. Wow. That's so and, dope. Um, so we we put terms on uh, wow. to represent Miami because uh, it was a global collection of artists from like Colombia and you know every you know uh, all over the world. Uh, and so sne- uh, terms got the to rep Miami. Were you gonna so say dope. Ecuador? No, I was gonna say <laughs> I, I was gonna I say uh, Sweden, okay. um, and and uh, but I actually was stopped myself because I was trying to remember exactly okay, okay. where it yeah. was. Yeah. Um, but it was it was all over the world. It was it was a Perfect. global initiative. Uh, everybody's from a different city, and yeah, yeah, it was yeah. pretty sweet. That's wow. awesome. That's Mattel gets so even Mattel wants to get in on, on the graffiti action. Museum so of Graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> so get your Uno, get your Uno deck from the Museum of Graffiti. Exclusively available on Museum yeah. of yes. Graffiti. And shout out to my brother Ross Terms, man. Bless, bro. Wow. That's my brother from the day community. one. This so is yeah, that's community. congratulations to him for being a part of that. That's big. Yeah, that's yeah. Very big. Yeah, it was big for us. Like yeah. it was, you know, dope. to get to make that call, be like, yo, you want to work with Mattel and do an Uno deck with that's us? Dark. Everyone was like, what? No, I'm busy really? right now. Yeah, oh, I'm no. just working with Gucci. No, no, we got we went eight for eight. At all eight nice. people that we asked, like no our first, yeah, eight, right, our yeah, first yeah. eight picks, bum, everybody bum, bum. said Dominoes. yes. Dominoes. Yeah. Dominoes. Yeah. Dominoes. Good. But that's what's you know, up. we we treat our artists properly. Right. We yeah. pay everyone. Right. You know, we don't ask them to do it on the house. I'm not like yo, let me get the let me get the homies set up. You know, no, we we no. And everybody we, knows you guys are doing good work. Yeah. yeah. So Great when work. you're putting out good energy, you're going to get it back. We yeah. pay, you know I mean? we pay artists, yeah, you know, man. like yeah. it's, a, you know, we're, you know, at times artists with astronomical fees and stuff, we were honest with them and we say maybe we can't pay it, but yeah, if we yeah. can pay it, we're paying In the it. Budget. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. I love it. I love what you guys are doing. I love what you guys got going on. And uh, I'm proud to say that, you know, you guys 
are doing are the healing in, in our hometown yes. in Miami. I'm proud to say we've got the first museum of graffiti. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, change it. Look, what Miami needs, watch this. I said what Miami needs for us to grow in a certain space, we definitely need to connect the music with the fashion culture. We're missing the fashion culture yeah. here. If we have the fashion culture here, it's, it's almost there. It's like it's right mm. around the corner. But we could connect that fashion, mm. art, and music. This is like the playground of heaven. I mean, it's always been connected, here. right? But it's not. Right. It's not like. But I feel I, you. you. get me? Like Miami's not like, responsible yeah. for that. Like Miami's not responsible for hip hop. That's what I'm trying to say. But you so gotta, I do think that there's a portion of urban, you know, streetwear mm-hmm. that we're missing. You know, a lot uh, in Miami. Yes, I think yes. that maybe there is some fashion coming out of here. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that. Moish Mana, who owns most of Miami, most of Wynwood and most we know downtown. Who, yes, we know who he is. Okay. Um, uh, he started Mana Fashion. Yeah. And so I do think you guys will see, you know, new innovations in fashion coming to Miami. He's okay. highly, highly invested in, in making sure fashion is coming here. Will it be street fashion, urban uh, fashion? We don't know yet. Maybe it remains to be it's, seen, it's, 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 you know, but if I get my way and yeah, I can weasel the, my <laughs> way in there... Um, you know, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna be, yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's exactly. what we're always concerned with. If you're if you're able to influence something like that, then that's, yes, that's turn the hand. And that's and good and for then, you know, the, the community is gonna yes. be like thumbs up. You know what I mean? Well, I think that that's been my job the whole time. You know, I, yeah. a little bit about me, I don't even think we went there. Is that like I actually. You know, I think we went there off camera, but I went to law school. I'm a lawyer. Well, yeah, I wanted to ask Ooh, you, about you know, yes. I've practiced law for a very long time. And so awesome. when I came into the Museum of Graffiti, I felt an obligation that it was my responsibility to lead the charge in helping to uplift this so Movement. that my lawyer friends, my judge friends, my people in the local government or, you know, like the people that I've made friends with in, with. in yes. my white collar world mm-hmm. are now understanding aware, better aware. about this genre. And, and a lot, we're debunking a lot of myths, mm. debunking a lot of stereotypes and, and flipping the script. Right. Yeah. You know, like a lot for the most part, the government has, you know, and the media has laid this super anti graffiti propaganda bullshit and, and, you know, people who aren't as passionate about the subject matter just eat it. Like, right. you know, yeah, okay, course, whatever, right. you know, yeah, Crook and Chrome, mm-hmm. they went to jail, they're criminals, they must be gang members, right. all this shit. Lead you know? the cartels. <laughs> well, to play <laughs> devil's advocate, that's yeah. that's kind of always been the, the stigma. Of course, right? but, you know, so, when a, a white girl lawyer comes right. into the picture <laughs> and is inviting all her you know, law school community, yes. you know, people that have been around for 20, 40 years in Miami right. doing really change philanthropic, change happens. philanthropic things yes. and, and, and change making things. And I, and yes. I say, you know, Hey, uh, Senator Pizzo, you mind meeting me? I went to law school with you. I know you, you're a very fancy <laughs> guy, <laughs> know you, you know, this. like he's, Thank you know, you. he's, he's in Congress or he's, he has his spot in the office. Mm-hmm. Meet me at the museum of graffiti. Do me a favor. Yes. And then after I'll take you for a cup of coffee, mm. but I just, you know, come Give see it. Some time. So I what happens that. I he buys a piece. All of a sudden, he, I have a senator collecting graffiti art. That's yes. so dope. That's and like this is like. I, let me give you. This is like go. yeah. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. Because this is the this is the work that you're doing that I'm a fan of and I, like I'm really impressed by it. Yeah. Because this is this senator. is like the culmination of it all. She, she, hey, I wanted to know how you can bring your expertise oh, no, in, in no. law this to is, this whole wait. thing, right? Hey, to our plight. Hey, senator, do you mind having a meeting? Without knowing what I'm saying, without knowing that you just want him yes. in your space, yeah. and when he went in that space, he said, "Oh, I like this. This is cool." Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, they're piece, they're you know? into it. It's amazing. Uh, let it's me amazing. tell you something. Shout out Mayor Daniela. Okay. Yes. Daniela comes through. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll, I I called Daniela. I was like, "Yo, Daniela, like I went to school with your daughter back <laughs> in the day. My name's Allison. You met my, this person mm-hmm. at this person, and I got your number." Yeah. Yeah. Do me a favor, roll through the Museum of Graffiti. I, I so need to dope. speak with you. That Guess so who dope. came through? Yeah, she she, came she took a selfie with the whole staff. Wow. Yeah, like, shout out to yeah. Mayor Daniela. Yeah. Man. Yeah, she is yeah. really dope. Shout man. out Mayor Daniela. Yes, man, that's big time. Salute, uh, salute, salute. So, yeah, you know, and, and so it's a it's a long time from where you see a lot of the propaganda, the, you know, Mayor Koch from New York City or the other w- – Mayors from New York City. I'm just <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> for the other mayors yeah, from New York City, beep, you know, like. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, I am you I am still a lawyer. I do yeah. try and censor yeah. myself yeah. sometimes, you know, yeah. and, and we've come a long way from these people who who actually in the museum, you'll learn that 
Mayor Koch in New York decided he was going to put wolves in the train yards wow. in order to kill the graffiti writers. No way. Um, so if you want to go and 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 Read spray some graffiti, yeah. you, like you would have to get risk your risk lives your life. getting getting mauled by a wolf. And yeah. so we've come a long way yeah. now that Mayor Daniela comes. She par- she participates. She she's about it. And and you know. I like to kind of equate it, you know, when I have to kind of change somebody's mind and I have to give them the hardcore press. I'm like, have you been to the Holocaust Museum? Ooh. You think the Holocaust is good? No, we don't like it. But you need to know your to history. Know wow. You mm-hmm. need to know if you think that this is illegal, immoral, disgusting, vandalism, gang members, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter because guess what? It's been here for 50 years and that's history yeah. whether you want to acknowledge it or whether not. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah it, it's a part it. of American mm-hmm. culture. Absolutely. It's not just American culture. It's global culture. There's been graffiti everywhere, Absolutely. you know, since the times of the pyramids. Yes. So we, Absolutely. whether you are a fan or think it's disgusting, you know, come learn about it and educate yourself before you judge. form an opinion. Yeah. You I got to ask you a question real quick because you being, uh, you know, She's so knowledgeable. I, I see the passion. I, mean, I love, I love graffiti. I'm, no, I'm, you, you know, know it's, it's like a second rum, and now it's like a it's really passion, getting yes. passionate. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's me, no, that's but me. this is the thing, this though. Passion. I, I, She's I gotta, excited. No, I gotta ask because there's a, there's a <laughs> common ex- misconception. Say, She's excited. excited. Yes, he yeah. wake up excited. She, yes, because yeah. I go to sleep at six fifty nine in the morning. I wake up at seven a.m. and I'm excited. I do wake up. Tell, I could tell you're excited. I wake up excited. I'm excited because I'm really passionate about. What I do, love yes. it. It's a beautiful thing what you guys are doing. I really, really commend you. It's it's incredible. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I love it. Still I'm a fan. Yeah, but yes, I, like I gotta ask you something because I know there's a, a huge misconception in in, in the uh, in the world really. Because I was gonna say in the culture or in the graffiti community, but it's really in the world because everybody says, um, uh, hip hop, uh, not hip hop, but graffiti art started in New York, uh-huh. like American graffiti started in New York. I think it's a misconception. Where do you think it started? Well. Uh, from what I to gather, me it's like a Los Angeles, it's crazy, and I'm from no, NYC. No, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> no, no, watch this. No, 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 no. I'm gonna there. solve this debate between you. So you say LA, and you say I say Philly. From my gathering, it's it's a dude named Cornbread out of Philly, and early. This is like early on because I, I, we used year, to write okay, in the 80s. What year? Watch this. See? I'm talking about, then, bro. This had to be let me let me I'm Cornbread gonna, gonna in, in, hit in this. Philly. Cornbread was in the 60s, bro. This okay, is like and fi- LA, 50s or 60s. I could so be wrong. 60 something because of the. The tattoo, I forgot his name. There Who? was already no, no, because of, they were doing tats. Remember the way LA, LA you're talking about in, in New York, and no, no, in Los Angeles. There was already, oh, okay. I forgot his name. There was already, you're talking guy. about like the Mexican guys, the yes, cholos was, and stuff. Yes, doing there was already, yeah, the ink. So, the tattoos were not going to necessarily call it graffiti, but right. if you talk about modern day graffiti where you're writing the on walls. things yeah, and yeah. illegally, Spray, so, spraying on a wall, right? Uh, yes, so spraying on a wall, tagging on a wall. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say you're right. Okay. Um, granted, I'm not a historian, but I, I I am around this all day, every day. So I would say that Cornbread was the first, perhaps, to put his name up. Right. However, what quickly happened is that really graffiti became known as style writing. Right. You know, how much style you have in right. your letters um, where they're still legible, but you know you're you're adding curves and and right, right. and you know shadows or arrows or whatever halos, whatever right. it is that you're into. Yeah. And so Cornbread did throw his name up, but it is a very simplistic. It style. was so, but it so, was to get fame though. A hundred, you know, there's right? stories that say it was to for fame, impress a girlfriend, whatever it was. Right. You know, I've met Cornbread. I've spent a lot of time with him. Wow, you know, he's, awesome. He's definitely was at no doubt, no question at the forefront of this. Whether he was the first person or the second person, you know, he got the notoriety a, a, around for it. that yes. time. It, it's when things started popping off. But so he never crossed over into the style part of it. Right. Mm. So he put his name on an elephant. He put his name on an air, the, an airplane. I think it belonged to the Jackson Five. Right. Yeah. You know, he really. Yeah. He put in work. You know, he he did it. It's uh, kind of like he, the Cold Crush Brothers. Yeah. It's like the equivalent of the Cold yeah. Crush Brothers. They put in that work, but they never did yeah, anything on wax, the, uh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he they, got into mm-hmm. a lot of trouble, but you know, so fast. Mm-hmm. Whether it was at the exact same time, a month earlier, a month later, I, I'm not quite sure. You know, you had the birth of this 
uh, the graffiti movement in New York City and it that spread like wildfire. Yeah, and awesome. you know, the the really primitive graffiti back then, Taki, you know, th- those guys the Dandies. Uh, no, before that. Even before before that. The the You're original about like, um, taggers. Yeah, like the taggers. The, yeah, the, like it, it was it was it was Taki and um geez, I forget. You, you know um, uh but Coco 144 oh, yeah. that's that's another person that uh comes to mind I I have had the 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 honor of meeting him as well and and so those folks um you know really were getting up and and really putting in crazy work right. putting in their name everywhere those, and these guys were pre styles those guys right? were p- pretty much pre style they wrote their name just, just the tags. same way that you would write your just name tag, you yeah. know very yeah. clean very clear um, and it kind of just took off from yeah. there. You know, I want to have a better style. I want to get up more. I want to get the higher spot. I want to get the most visible spot. Ghetto, and, right. and you know, from there, that's where after it was on the walls, it went to the train. Like, why am I going to put my name in one spot on like a, a subway platform when right. if I put it on the train, it's going to travel around, around, the, the you city. know, all, all city. All <laughs> city was getting on that train that went to all five boroughs. Wow. and. You know, from there, you know, you also, you, it, it just went like crazy. And so then, you know, a big thing here in Miami is painting freight trains. And uh, your train can go across the country. Right. So you yeah. paint it in Miami right. and yeah. you're checking that shit out. And yeah, because we, we, we can never get on the metro rail tracks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the East Coast, the West Coast is, is on that, that railroad track. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. are right. Is, uh, uh, cornbread is routinely... Cornbread. Uh, said to be the first modern graffiti artist and right. you know the distinguished modern in that like you know you're not going back to the catacombs of Egypt where you know there's <laughs> plenty of right. writing on the wall yeah, of course shout out cornbread shout out cornbread shout out Taki Coco yeah. legends man living legends man those guys are incredible yeah salute to them man and um yeah this is well, are we gonna do the uh, the segment smoke no, I wanna I wanted to ask us so oh, okay, where, where do you see um I guess what you're doing now for the city in the next five to ten years? What do you see? Ooh, I need a nap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta push. I gotta push. Yeah, no, you know, and we need to. Visions. And we need to push too. Is, is the truth. So it's interesting, right? Because you guys gave me a round of applause when I told you we have ten thousand square feet in Winwood, but that's ten thousand square feet of separate space. Yes, yes. I right. want to be treated like the Pam. I want to be treated. Uh, you know, like the Bass Museum. Like I want to have all that under one roof Oof. where I'm not freaking out at the end of the month trying to figure out like, you know, how am I going to continue this? You know, and, and that's not exactly true. You know, like I'm not, uh, it, it's not, it, you know, we need to have some system in place that ensures the longevity of this. Yes. Uh, yes. So God forbid something happens to me. God forbid something happens to my partner that this lives on for your yes, children, your yeah, children, yeah. the next generation, the next generation, so that, uh, you know, all of the people who love this art firm feel supported into infinity. Yes. And so yeah. I think those institutions that I'm referring to, like, really have a good backing. They have a great board. Like, we're babies. We're, That's what I was going to say. You know, Is there, like, a board with the Museum so of Graffiti yet or have, anything like that? We have some really trusted advisors, you know, who we can call on um, and, and chat with if we have issues. Um, you know, some people who... We say down since day one, you know, mm-hmm. like we're, we're supporting us, you know, or phone call away, always down to help. We could not have done any of this without those people who right. were willing to extend their time, their yeah. brain power, their resources, their connections. And that's not that common in Miami where no. it's like, you know, I'm willing to go the extra mile for you, even though I have no vested interest in this. Yes, that's very beautiful, rare. very rare. And so people just cared about me and cared about Alan and cared about the cause. And, uh, you know, I think that's a testament to how we've lived our lives uh, before the Museum of Graffiti, which is always trying to help out other people. But this was our time to kind of ask. Mm hmm. You need to ask sometimes. You need, you need. That's why I tell people. You need sometimes to say, "Hey, I don't need be help. afraid to ask. Don't be <laughs> afraid help. to ask." I need, I'm, this is my situation. I, I need a little bit of help. Well, you you know, yeah. what can you do for us? Yeah, what? don't live your life like that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like yeah, don't yeah. be the yeah. person no, that's always not. you know taking. We we mm-hmm. just had this it's conversation a second ago good. that you know there's it's balance. It's give and take. You know, or you you get what you give. Really, at the end of the day, yes. it's it's not like I've spent my 
whole life taking or my whole life giving but you know when when you're in abundance you give and when you need it hopefully that comes right back to you Perfect. and don't be afraid to ask don't be afraid to ask no, what's a worst case scenario they say absolutely. no yeah absolutely take notes y'all Dale. she's dropping gems on y'all <laughs> <laughs> Allison dropping gems um, um yeah go ahead we, we, you want to get into the segment yeah uh fuego or, or smoke yeah, we have a little segment that we do. It's like a, it's like a. Well, it's, it's not really quick because <laughs> we realize it might get it into it's not really quick. Else. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I mean people. Yeah, because people <laughs> always want to explain their their. Yeah, their, so their answer. It's either fuego if you like it, and smoke if you don't if like you don't. it. Like easy. You yeah, so it's easy. 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 Oh my okay, god, I'm easy. so excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, I mean, we're gonna start off pretty easy. You know what I mean? Because you know. It is what it let is. Let me, let me, this one came Please, to Please, take first. it easy on me. Kanye West. Smoke. Smoke, ooh, okay. Ooh. I'm Jewish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. B. <laughs> B, sorry, I didn't it's catch B. that one. I didn't catch that one. <laughs> I should have, sorry. Damn, okay. Kanye. It's okay. That's an easy one. Yeah, that was an easy smoke. one. Okay, go ahead. What about Donald Trump? Smoke. Smoke. Uh, it's up. You know, I, I the the whole convicted felon thing. You know, like and 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 or d- becoming potentially, you know, committing felonies and running the country for me. It's it's too much. I can't. I also don't believe in the whole geriatric thing that's it. happening. <laughs> but you know, so I I am on nope. I just believe in parties. Yeah. I'm like I want a party. I don't want to be in this party. I don't want to that party. I just want to go to a party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dope answer. The way she <laughs> she answered that is perfect. It's like, all right, come um, on. Jo- uh, for some reason, this came to mind. Jordan sneakers. Jordan, oh, uh, Fuego. Fuego, okay. For sure. Okay. Okay. She's hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For She's sure. Oh, check. and by the way, the art of hip hop will be completely presented by StockX. Shout out StockX. Wow. <laughs> that's Shout a big one. And that's so, big. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Wow. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, what about social media? Fuego. Fuego! Oh my Fuego. God! Yeah. I wouldn't have found you guys if I wasn't on yeah. socials. See? Yeah, yeah, but you know, everybody has the whole thing with technology and uh, social media, get, uh, mental health, yeah, or whatever. No. It's like, dude, because get, your, get, your, get, get in your mind or right. get left behind. Yeah, get your mind right. Okay, that's the thing about social media is that some of us use it for business, and some of us use it to just do nothing and and just wander in outer space. So that's, for us, that's it's a, a problem. Business, it's a business. That's a problem. Pla- you get me? It's a business. It's a business platform. Yeah. It's not. Oh, I'm just scrolling. You know, it's yeah. a business platform. Yeah, if you don't 100%. have a purpose, something's wrong with you. you know? <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. I yeah. I can a hundred percent identify with how it can cause problems. Showing mm-hmm. you stuff you don't want to see. You know, if you have body images, or this person's driving a Ferrari, and I've been working <laughs> my ass off three jobs, and I yeah. still have a Toyota. All <laughs> like all, you know, all of it. And so I I a hundred I completely identify with that. And I've had times where I'm like, maybe I need to take a break from this. But at the end of the day, um, I feel so inspired a lot of the times by Mm -hmm. the content I consume and I can keep my finger on the pulse as to like potentially what competitors are doing or potentially what the trends are, what, you know, some sick shit that I see in Amsterdam, like, yo, dude, like, what if we built something like this in Miami? Like, not to bite it, but like, I do feel daily inspiration from, you know, it's a lot of the accounts you follow, like you choose what you're into, you know, like, that's what I tell everybody, you know, if you're into cars, you can follow all car accounts and and see what's going on in the world. You know, I, I can tell you I don't follow like girls with BBLs like it's just like <laughs> not you know but that's you don't follow the, do you ones, the ones that are showing <laughs> Those their are, bodies yeah yeah right? like I but, the, I, I, <laughs> but I'll go on someone else's phone and that's all yeah, I see yeah, and I'm yeah, like yo uh, like what are you doing yeah. all day yeah, like what are you gaining from you know this what? I tell them my joke is this look I what tell, are you getting out of this are you learning I'm gonna make you laugh that's hilarious I'm gonna make you laugh and I tell that's the girls terrible. I tell the girls because we have a lot of girls that do that our yeah. friends are popular too so I tell them like me as a man I've seen you in purple yellow orange blue by the end of the week i'm already tired of you <laughs> for real can you give me you know your mind can you show me a different perspective yeah. what's in here because you already sh- you know yeah, you basically it. didn't show me the whole world <laughs> yeah. you the so whole world, that's why girl. i laugh at it now you know yeah, yeah. And, and i don't know if 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 uh folks who men women whoever like that that post a lot of pictures of themselves in you know you know maybe <laughs> it's their way of <laughs> showing that they're proud of themselves yeah. is it that their body proud or whatever like i i don't know but like i really use social media in order to like gain knowledge about exactly. to make me a better person mm-hmm. not to, like i really try and not use it for surface level stuff dreamers yeah, for the yeah. dreamers it's crazy first class how do you feel about first class 
airplane? Yes, I do. A lot oh of my God. Uh, Fuego. <laughs> Fuego. It's got to be first class. <laughs> Fuego. I ain't going in first class. No, so I'll funny. sit in the yeah. exit row, but like, oh, yeah, yeah, if I get, if I had an option for sure, first for class, sure, but not okay, it's that or the exit row. <laughs> okay. For sure, first class. All right. So, um, could anybody say smoke to that? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you never know. Remember hey, people you know, some people are like, life. dude, I don't yeah. care. I don't need money. I'm good with, you know, yeah. sitting in coach. Like, really? All right, bro. <laughs> get the credit card. Yeah. Like, you get, get the upgrade. Like, it's the credit card. It's like, hey, you know, that's it. You know, they're we're not spend, here to change see, the world. They're, we're they're, see, we're they're trying to understand their money it. where it's not values. Oh, they're, I would it, never spend, spend money eating to, to yeah. show you that I'm eating at a restaurant yeah. when it has no value. Yeah. No, it, I would never those spend two hundred dollars and buy crazy. a stock. I would never <laughs> spend money to sit in first class, but I'm all about those upgrades on American Island. American Airlines. Airlines. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm platinum exact. Ex- exactly. Yeah. There I'm you go. Exactly. Because she's like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, Uncle Luke. <laughs> Where I go? Where you all go? day. Yeah, all day. Okay. Uh, anything Miami is going to be fuego for oh, me, with yeah, a few exceptions. Oh, this is a this mm. is a how um I, I I guess I don't know. I want to say too, like Miami. How do you feel about Miami, or how do you feel about Dubai? Which Dubai? One? Are you? Oh, du- no, no, the question is Miami or Dubai. Yes, yes. Let's let's change. Oh it. Like, my which god, one? we're on a feminist podcast. <laughs> like there's no Dubai. Like come on. <laughs> like you know, I got I got to I got to come on. Yeah, no, Miami all day. Okay. Um, you know, I have I'm grown here. Like mm-hmm. my parents went to Beach High. Like we're from yeah, you're deeply rooted, here. rooted you're, here. You're in so, the mangroves. You're still in yeah. Co- no, I <laughs> dream. This is like Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, this is She's man- like third generation. I know. I dream. Yeah, about mangroves. one day I'm like oh maybe I could like go to Los Angeles for more than three days at a time and I'm <laughs> wow. like yeah no I'd miss yeah, my right, house yeah, right. <laughs> there's nowhere else in the world yeah, like Miami no, I come no. back too I, I leave no and I come back it's amazing no yeah. it's just the flavors you know like yeah. you know I was trying to with its DJ Laz thing not to like bring it all the way back there it was very emotional for me because mm. it is a unique sound specific to us and I'm like yes. nobody understands like when I leave here like this is a very it, it used to be before the influx of the New Yorkers and everything that's happened, like to New Yorkers, co- you know, like Miami's our sixth borough. I know no, that. I say that all the time. I say that I catch a New Thank Yorker. You. This is a sixth I, borough. I right say it all the time. We but, are here, but it, this was a very small town, and we mm-hmm. were doing it our own way. Yes, you facts. know, I w- I was born in '85. What was happening in '85 was there was a crazy influx of cocaine money coming into yes, this town, Colombians and, and Cubans. even if you were not in the cocaine trade. Your business was impacted by it, and everybody was living this like life Everybody's of doing crazy good. excess. Yeah. You yeah. know, like they were selling more Mercedes in Miami than they were in like <laughs> the, the in entire the world, like East Coast in freaking Germany in, <laughs> in the West Palm. Crazy. Yeah. The guy in the Lamborghini, one of the um, like Rick, one of the guys we know um, from White Boy Rick, he came. He was like, "This guy here, he sold more Lamborghinis in West Palm Beach in the '80s than the whole world." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. literally, we know. We, so we right, know. and so <laughs> we know the ups, the downs, but we created our own culture around the people that could survive the heat and enjoyed it Mm. and you know the white people mixing with the latin people mixing with the black community like we have this like incredible like melting pot that i really don't see existing anywhere else and and there comes out of that fashion and sound and art and and all these style. really unique style, style that comes you know the gold like mm-hmm. the gold That's teeth us, yeah. right the, like you know a lot of that um you know i i feel very at home here mm. and i don't think i would fit in anywhere else wow yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's, a, she's, a, she's a Miami girl through and through. She's a 305er. We are hashtag we are Miami. We are yeah. Miami. Yeah, we are Miami. Sure. Sure. Put up. Yeah, definitely. Um, so obviously, you know, Pitbull is going to be Fuego for you, of course. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Shout out to his lawyer, Angie Martinez. Angie's dope too, yes. Pit. Yeah, man, that's the fam, you know. Um, Ross, you like Ross? Um, Yes, I do. Flow Rider? I- uh, yes, Fuego. I do. Fuego, Fuego, Fuego. So, Fuego. Okay, so let's let's get back. A little, we, we got a couple more minutes, so let's get back. So since you were here growing up, mm-hmm. what type of music influenced you? Because I was here at that time. In beauty music. So be- it's all beauty music. How you got? So you guys want to hear a funny story, which Go. is that Laz just came through the museum to do his mural unveiling, and he was saying how they invented booty music and they had everybody booty dancing, and then all of a sudden, now fast forward 25, 30 years, you it's have my twerk. You have Miley twerk. Cyrus twerking. It's a twerk. And, <laughs> and so when he said that, and he goes, yeah, but you don't want to see that and in my head. I'm like, damn, I look just like 
Oh, stop it, stop it. <laughs> I wanted to stand up and protest. I'm like, but I invited this guy a in. So. A twerk, a twerk. <laughs> hey, the whole world. I was like, but I, I, I can't talk shit to Laz because yeah, he's yeah. doing me a solid. He yeah. showed up here not knowing about the mural. So yeah. I was like, yo, I'm not going to raise my hand and talk some bullshit to him. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but that is it's funny. Twerk is, like I said, it's, it's twerking it's became mainstream. It's the now. booty music. Yeah. It's, it's that. It's amazing. Well, back then, it wasn't really called twerking but whatever. no no i'm saying that booty music yeah. now is just a twerk we you know called saying? it yeah. booty music it was luke it was uncle al two live crew scrub the ground give me that yeah, thong um, about yeah, 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 yeah. there was different there was different jt money you know what i'm saying pony express yeah jam pony express jam pony was from up the road but yeah no, all of it was yeah. it was heaven. I wish yeah. I wish I had those CDs still, the mixtape, like the the actual, not the ones you burned on the computer, like before that when you could go to the record store and like buy the yeah. booty mixtape that had like all the different mm -hmm, mm -hmm, ones yeah. on that. Like I I was probably like in maybe like fourth grade fourth, and, yeah. and loving it. Yeah. Like the beat, it was just so good. Yeah, yeah man. Rest in peace, tempo. DJ Bass, man. That's my brother. Mm -hmm. He, he Re had Rest one of in peace, spots. Uncle Al. Yeah, he yeah. always had Uncle Al as well. Yes, man. That's another legend. Yeah, he, those guys always, you know, those those they are the purveyors the of the city. music. Yeah. Put it down for Disco the Rick. Disco oh, my God. One. Yeah, 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 Disco. Shout out to Disco Rick. Shout out to Disco Rick. That's the bro. Yeah, that's the big bro. That's my army people. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> try yeah, these are I try legends. and keep it real. <laughs> yeah, nah, you're sure. definitely keeping it real. Have you had uh, JT Money over there yet? I've met JT Money over at Rocket where they film a bunch of the EFN. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I have met him. I don't know if he's stepped through the doors. Ross has been through the doors. Karis, one has been through the doors. Ooh, um, you know, a bunch of people come through yeah, the doors yeah. every day. And De La Soul's been through there. Um, Stretch Armstrong, the oh. DJ from New York, he's come through. Talib Kweli's been through. Uh, you know, we we. It's basic. Sorry, to cut, it's like whoever touches the city, basically, it, they just need to go through those doors. No matter. Yeah, your style. even they if should. they're not they in should. hip hop, real, real, you know the reality of that. You know, I, another good one is the Diplo, uh, who's not even yeah. a hip hop I, DJ. I love that guy. I, so I Diplo him. came. Um, Ket and Fuzi, mm -hmm. one of the graffiti writers, they took him painting. They did the mm -hmm. piece on the street, like all of it, you know, and so. A lot of the artists who are music artists like also really connect, connect with the visual the stuff. Uh, Quest Love, mm -hmm. um, you know, he Dope. came and b supported us big time. Yeah, like he's he, a big voice. you know, he's a big voice. Yeah, and he mm -hmm. came and rolled through and and copped art from local yeah, artists nice. like Gustavo Oviedo, Johnny Robles. Like he bought local yeah. artists, graffiti artists, and we were like. Dope. Mad respect. A whole sniffs clue. He bought him too. You know, you know, he's you know Jose Parla. Yeah, he's yeah, okay. hell yeah. That's my brother. It, he's in Shout out in Kets. Yeah, I used to go bombing with them. But I wasn't, I, I did grab for New York, but when I came here, like, I didn't do grab. I was more into, like, doing the hip hop shows. That so, was my hustle. You know, we sit here on, what is it, uh, September 14th. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, oh, Papa. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Papa. Uh, so, September 11th, you know, I remember all the time, you know, World Trade, obviously, all mm -hmm. the horrible things that happened. Jose Parla, who's homegrown Miami. Yeah, Miami. Original Ink Street, crew. Right here, A Street. And Shy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he Pissar. was tapped to paint the largest mural, indoor mural in New York City. In New York in yeah. the new One World well, Trade I know, I saw that. Center, yeah. and um, so that was a it was you know, a, you know his a, brother Ray, yeah, of too? course, okay. yeah. I love him. Those are my brothers. So we dropped them off literally unwillingly. <laughs> Make sure you tell them, Victor, <laughs> <laughs> unwillingly, you're staying here, and we just left, and look what took off of his career. Yeah. So it's yeah. crazy. This is the things people don't understand. Your friends see something in you that you don't see. Let me tell you something, and, and not only that, real, like, he real. has climbed to, like, the highest level of success, um, but we, and, and, you know, during COVID, it, I don't think it's a secret anymore, like, that, he almost didn't make it, mm -hmm. and so I, I think that it's, it's absolutely incredible. I do want to say that for the Museum of Graffiti's perspective, uh, he has been um, a supporter of ours, yes. a fan, a friend. He, when we call, he He's answers. The flagship. He's the he, flagship. He um, DJed our opening party. Nice. Um, so he got up on the ones and twos, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and did his thing and has always been willing to help, always been down for a Open cup of arms. coffee mm -hmm. when we're in New York or passed by, keeps in touch. Um, he's, he's salt of the earth to mm -hmm. me. <laughs> beautiful thing 
Cameo days. We used to dance in yeah. cameo. <laughs> me, you're, me, age, me, you're aging yeah, yourself. Yeah, me, me and him would take out everybody. That's how, that's how <laughs> yeah, far back we go. All, so. right, big, <laughs> all right, big guy. <laughs> Nobody. Right, we got, could, we like got, that, that's what you see. I'm still dancing now. You understand? Yes. Like, no, but it's a little bit. Yeah, no. Older, so the dance moves are a little bit he different. Loves but it. we're about to dance right now. Anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. No, no, I'm not dancing. No, There's no are. Miley Cyrus yes, twerking happening right no, now. No, no, no twerking. No twerking. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see what but we mean. But we definitely got to wrap this up. Yeah. Allison, thank you so thank much for no, coming through. No, thank you. This was an it's honor. A, no, thank it's, you it's, so it's much. It's an honor and a pleasure for us to have you. So thank, thank you. you. And, and we want you to know Fuego Talk is here for you. Anytime anything is going on that you want to announce or you want to come through and just vibe with us again, you're more than welcome yeah, to. I, I want here. something from you guys. What, what do you, whatever you need from us, it's done. <laughs> I want you guys to come to the Museum of Graffiti. Oh, oh it's done. Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah I've been there already, but my yeah, partner I, go I haven't. Yeah, everybody yeah. tells me. Ah, we'll come over there with I the want. Fuego yeah, fam. Yeah, 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 we'll bring everybody That's what I want. I want, you know, everybody backstage, everybody I want. I want I want you guys to roll through. And um, so I can personally take you around and show you what we're up to. Absolutely. That would be awesome. At an event. I want to see how you function at an event that's what oh, i want to no. do she's the boss lady <laughs> I, i'm not that great at events like i am i i get nervous okay, i have some I stage fright yeah, yeah, i get yeah. i get okay. you know i've been doing this for many years yeah. already and, and i still, still exactly every single time i still get nervous are people gonna come what if they don't like it uh like you know is the you know i i get every, i get nervous all the details, a um, lot of i'm pieces. one of those people um yeah. i'm a capricorn your mm. your zodiac friend here uh, <laughs> read me earlier <laughs> she had a lot of questions and and you know she she nailed me as a, a textbook capricorn so beautiful uh roll through to an event i will yes. let you guys know the next one. Oh, perfect yes, yes. Thank so you, you stay in contact yeah, and thank sure. you for the invite shouts to the uh team astrology expert eunice the virgo goddess there you go <laughs> shouts to my bro mark the shooter you already know the whole team fuego fam Allison, the Museum of Graffiti. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate you. You already know my partner, Hurricane Joe Easy. You be the underboss, the Apex, Real Five in my yo. We out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>